Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking through a Fabric.com purchase. When you get to Fabric.com, there's a bunch of different ways that you can search for fabric. You could search by color, you could search by fabric type, or you can also search by their sale and clearance. They have a really large sale and clearance section. When I was searching, I knew what I was looking for, so I used the search bar. I put whatever topic it was in that bar, and then I was brought with a bunch of different fabrics. One thing to note is not all the fabrics you see are actually available for purchase. Once you find a fabric you like, you can select it and see more details about it and really get an up-close image of what the fabric's going to look like. As far as how many yards you would like, they do operate off the half yard, and Fabric.com does the more you buy, the more you save. So the more fabric you get, the more you're going to save on it. Let's say I just wanted to get a yard, I would hit add to cart, and then I can either continue shopping or check out. You can also get to your cart by going to the top right hand corner and you will be able to check out from here. Checking out is very simple and as you would do on any website. Fabric.com does offer a fabric business program, so if you're an Etsy shop like I am or some other small business, you can get a 10% off discount as well as tax exempt ordering if that relates to you. The registering process was very easy and I was able to get everything done in around 48 hours. There was one fabric unavailable that I had ordered, so I got an email that they were going to refund me on that, but everything else you see here is going to be part of this video, so the actual fabric or the actual item did come in the mail and I will be doing a review on it for you so you can see what it looks like compared to the images. So I'm going to be starting with the, the Harvest fabric. So you can see it looks very similar to what the picture looked like and I'll include a picture in the upper corner. I really like how it turned out and it feels really nice. It has a nice strong finish and it doesn't feel cheap which is what I was looking for. It feels thick and I don't think it's going to really tear or break that easily. Moving on I got this really fun Let's see, uh, Dear Stella Bond of Year, I believe is what it's called. And then it features lots of little animals on it. We have lots of flowers. It also is pretty true to the color. It at first was a little bit more of a black than what I thought. I was gonna be a little darker of a blue, but I still really like it. So that, that's what that looks like. So our next fabric is, this is the Rustic American fabric. So I went with what looks like a bunch of American flags. It turned out really well though, and this is similar to what the picture looked like online, so I'm happy with it. So next, I got this red, white, and blue star fabric. It is called the American Honor Stars Ivory, and I got one yard of it. It's very similar to the others. It has a really nice feel, and the colors were very true to what it showed online. So next, I got one of the clearance fabrics that was candy canes, and it was called like Tis the Season. So it was folded with the right sides together. So when I unfolded it, it was very vibrant. So I was really happy with it. It's very holiday, very festive. Next, I got just like a really pretty plain white and red floral fabric. This was actually my mom's picks. I really like how you can tell it's full cotton, you see at the bottom. Really nice sturdy quality, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels like it's going to work really well. Then next I got a bunch of plain fabrics, so I got this really pretty Kona Cotton Breeze, so it's just like a really pale light blue, looks really nice though. I'm trying to get it so you can see the actual color. It's very similar to the color that it showed on, on screen. I got a white, just classic plain white, which I'm excited about, I got two yards of it, so. It all looks good. I don't see any marks or stains so far. There was a little piece of dirt when I first opened it, but it turned out just to be fuzz. I also got some face mask elastic, so that'll be helpful. I got this royal blue, which I think was called Liberty Broad Cloth. It also feels very, very sturdy. It has a really nice feel to it. It was also very true to color, so the lighting I'm using is kind of like a natural lighting right now, so you can see it definitely looks very blue. And then the last two, I got the end of the bolt, so they give you a little sticker that says jackpot you at the end of the bolt, so that's kind of funny. But I got it for both of these, so I hit the jackpot twice. <laughs> and I got this really bright red, which will be actually used for the inside of face mask. I got this really nice pale yellow, which is really pretty. So for both of these, I'm excited to use them. They were both very true to color and the quality again feels like everything else. With this, I am not disappointed at all on any of my purchases. I enjoyed fabric.com and I'll definitely be shopping there again. 